Hello and welcome to Dribbling with Our Feet. So this is our level one video, which means if we're still working on our beginning dribbling, this is the perfect place to be. If we're pretty good at our dribbling and using our feet, then we should go to the level two video, which is right below this one. So when we're first working on our dribbling with our feet, the best thing to do is just to get used to the ball. So I like to do something called toe taps or toe touches. This is very simple. You can find whether you have a soccer ball, a big bouncy ball, a volleyball, any type of bigger ball. And we'll just start by tapping the top of the ball with our feet. We're not stomping on it and we're not kicking it. We're just tapping it back and forth. This is getting our feet used to touching the ball and feeling how big the ball is. And if we want, we can go faster. And then we can start moving the ball forwards, backwards, just a little bit but it's not going too far away from us, right? So let's do 10 toe taps together. Ready? In place. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Good job. Next, we'll do side to side. So our toe taps are getting us used to touching the ball lightly without kicking it away. Our side to sides are going to be doing a similar thing just with the insides of our feet instead of the tops. So to do this, you're just going to gently move the ball in between your feet. You want to make sure it stays right here so we don't want it going way far away or anything like that so we want to control it back and forth if you feel like you're doing pretty good at this you can add some speed so go a little faster and it's okay if your feet get wider and closer together, as long as the ball is staying in between them. So let's do 10 side to sides together. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to speed up a little bit. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, how do you think you did with those? If you want to do them again, you can do 10 more toe taps and 10 more side to sides. But if you think you're ready, we're going to get into some open space dribbling. So what that means is we want to find a big open space whether it's our backyard, our front yard, our driveway, or just a bigger space, maybe at a park. Outside is an awesome place to do dribbling. But we wanna just keep the ball close to us within that space. So I have all this open space right here to use, and I'm just gonna dribble back and forth. The most important thing to remember is keep the ball close to you. Ready? So I'm going to start just walking. So I'm kind of doing our side to sides, just going forwards a little bit. Dribbling, tapping, toe tap. That's a great way to stop the ball when we're dribbling. Dribble, toe tap, side to sides. Toe tap. All right, if you have 
somebody to dribble with, a great game to play, is for one of you to dribble, and the other person tries to take it away. And as long as we're playing safely, games are always a great way to work on our skills.